Hello, it's Sarah, and I have, I got a pocket letter today, and I have still, they've still been trickling in, and I haven't shared them um, on a video. I haven't really even replied yet, so um, I've been very distracted with my Fodoris, and um, I just got the Fuse, so I'm going to be playing with that, but I didn't want to leave you ladies out, and I appreciate this so much, so this one was from Olga, and I'm not sure I may have done a video on Olga's, but I love, I can't wait, I'm going to be playing with my Fuse, and I can't wait to try some of the sequin pouches, and all the fancy stuff that um, Irina, Irene's been doing, um, and so I just wanted to show you guys these again, these variations. This is so cute. She put sweet tooth for um, my chocolate part, and I've already pulled stuff out of hers. I know for sure there were flags here that I've used. Then this one's from Tammy, and I think Tammy sent me a couple so far. This is like her second one, so I definitely owe her another one. And there's just goodies on the back. I mean, you can see that things are missing. I've taken things out of there. Um, this one is Barbara Weiss, Scrappin' Barbie on YouTube, and I received hers the most recently, and look how beautiful it is. The colors, look at the half heart, um, you know what that is. <laughs> oh my gosh, all of these doilies, and it's just super summer, super cute. I love this, and she stapled hers closed. So, I mean, you don't have to have the fuse to do those. Um, I just love it. It's so adorable. You guys, are sh my battery died. Um, so I was saying, uh, Barbie sent me this one, and look at these. I wanted to show you. Look at these little, these are um, paper clips that she stamped the coffee cups and the tea cups and made paper clips. Um, I just think you guys are all so creative. Each and every one I have appreciated so much. These are just ATCs that I've um, traded before. And speaking of ATCs, um, I had said I was going to do a swap with oh, Stephanie. Um, whoa. Ento Blast. And guess what I got, Steph? I got the return to sender. Mine came back to me. It never got to you, but it did get back to me. So if you if you want to swap again, keep showing the addresses. Uh, I can send this again, and I think it was a uh, staple screwed up with their shipping. I think they charged undercharged me, um, and I'll email you to um, to reset that up if we want to set it up. But today I got this one, and this one's from Audrey, and Audrey doesn't do videos. Audrey, what is it? Windy days. Um, but look at this, happy birthday. My birthday was the 19th of May. And what a sweetheart, this is amazing. I mean, it just made me smile. I mean, not that they all don't, happy mail is always a good thing, but that she remembered my birthday. That was so awesome. <laughs> um, so thank you so much, Audrey. And as you know, I love, love, love Audrey's dangles so much. Oh my God, the bling. <gasps> and there's a, it's, there's bells. I love it. I'm gonna put this on my pocketbook. I switched pocketbooks. This is so summery. They'll hear me coming. Oh my God, so cute. I love those bee caps. I just, I don't know. I just may make like a chunky charm of Audrey's dangles. They're, and like the, <laughs> and have them out. But look, she put cupcakes all around and little cute stuff, paper clips. Let's see what's on the back. Paper clips. I, I think there's goodies under here. Um, you know, I, I'm very curious. I think this might be her letter. Washi. A little binder. Look, look at the little binder. Oh my gosh. These are stickers. I think these are stickers. Oh, Audrey, I think you're a photographer, right? I think, are you the photography one? I think so. I'll bet you made these or something. I don't know. You people are so crafty. It's adorable. So, yeah, so there, I'm, I apologize. I should be posting these more regularly. Actually, this worked out because it's three. It was three that I, you know, I, I like to do them in threes, and that way um, it's not like a super short video and it's not too long. Um, celebrate life. Look at this. This is just adorable. Thank you so much, Audrey, 
for remembering my birthday. That is so lovely. Yeah, that's her letter. I'm going to read that. And I'm doing, so I will, I have to make some pocket letters. I am, look, this is my, I have been making faux dories. Look at this fabric. This is super adorable, the cats. So I have to put um, my eyelets in there. I think I'm definitely planning on bringing these to my craft show um, in November. I'm just going to have like a bunch of, you know, jackets, and then I'll have like a bunch of like books to go with them and stuff. I don't know. I think I'm going to charge pretty cheap um, because they are pretty cheap. They're they're very easy to make. Like I can make a lot of them in a day. You know what I mean? Like so that's very good. Um, the stuff that you use, the um, the double, I like the double-sided, um, I guess it's an interfacing it's called, uh, because it's tacky on both sides. It's so easy, the process, if you saw my tutorial. So I've been totally into them. And then, like I said, I just got the fuse. I ordered mine at Amazon. We have Amazon Prime. Let me go back down. And so this was, I would say, around $30, and it includes shipping and everything, and it got here in two days. It's fantastic. I didn't get to open it yesterday. I'm hoping to play with it today. Um, it's a beautiful day here in New Jersey today. Uh, so, yeah, and then, you know what, I, guys, for those of you who don't have the Fuse, I just wanted to mention I saw an awesome video by um, the fr Lindsay, the Frugal Crafter. She was using a tool that is... It's not, I think it might just be a soldering iron, but it's meant for um, carving. There, it comes, I forget what it's called, but she's had it in her stash forever, and so she pulled it out, and you can use it to cut, like I guess if you warm it up, you can cut styrofoam into shapes with it. You can cut, I don't know if you can cut wood with it, but um, whatever it was, watch that video. It's, um, she's doing everything the fuse does with it. Um, and it just doesn't have, it has this tip on it, the pointy tip. That's what she was using. It doesn't have this tip, but I mean, I'm going to play with this and see, uh, and then she just uses a, a metal ruler. She didn't even use a ruler really. Yes, she did. She did use a metal ruler and I'm, I'm looking forward to having this metal ruler just to have in my stash. I don't have a metal ruler. I, ha I just use my Tim Holtz one, but anyway, um, so that's it. Uh, I probably, I'm going to be making some polymer clay buttons. Those of you who like my polymer clay videos, um, I want to use them on my faux dories. Like, I don't see why I shouldn't, you know, I mean, I have these cute buttons on here. This is just a sparkly silver button. But, um, I was thinking, like, I don't know if I'm going to make a cat button. Probably not. I'll probably just keep them simple. I'll just have buttons, but they'll be polymer clay. They'll just be something else that I made that can go with it. Um, and why not? So I'll just make a whole tray of those, and I'll come back and show you. Uh, all right, so what else? I mean, it's summer, and there's just, it's, it's going to be summer, and there's so much going on, like, outside and... Um, other things to do, but I'm, I'm really going to try and keep up with my crafting. It's just that, um, you know, life happens and then, you know, the next day is here before you know it. And, but thank you so much, Audrey. This is the sweetest thing ever. I really, really appreciated it. And thank you guys for watching.